My name is Dharma, Dharma Das. For a long time, I have planned a pilgrimage on foot to visit sacred sites like Gaya, Kashi, and Mathura, hoping to gain some fresh insights on life. My walking partner is Sham. Come on, Sham. It's providential how we met. He is from the same Brahmin caste as myself. As you can see, I'm getting a little old. Before I left for this journey, I told my wife, grown son, and daughter that I'm going for a while. I'll be back, not to worry. Now Sham here is young and strong. He's a great companion. Together we've been going through the usual trials in that pilgrim's face. There are some days when it's so intensely hot. The sun is like a red hot fireball and we feel like melting into the earth. And then the chilly evenings that seem like winter. Sometimes it rains and rains and rains with a vengeance. In any event, we just continue walking. But you know, the footpath gets muddy. And ah! Sometimes we meet pesky dogs. There's some real nice people that we meet along the way. They're so kind to offer food. We're also warned of dubious characters. Sometimes it gets so strenuous and I get so tired. Sham just picks me right up and gives me a little ride. Oh, you're great. Every day we see lots of things and we go to many places. And then we came to the village of Vrindavan and saw a deity that stole our hearts. Well, Sham, what are you thinking? He's beautiful. Yes, he is beautiful. Complexion of a rain cloud, countenance grave, captivating pose. I've become his slave. You are a poet? Not really. I'm just moved by him. His name is Gopal, the friend of the cows. And a friend also of people. Oh yes, most definitely. Especially those who are devotees. Namo Brahmanya Devaya, Go Brahmanya Hitayacha, Jagat Hitaya Krishnaya, Govindaya Namo Namaha. Sanskrit? I always wanted to know Sanskrit. Yes, the language of the gods. Look at him, Sham, come, come. Musical words seem to leap out of his mouth. He seems about to dance, and this flute about to play. This is definitely the peak of our pilgrimage. Yes, Baba. We shall stay in the temple for two or three days if the temple pujaris allow. Can you ask them? Of course, Baba. Ah, uh, they say it's all right. Oh, very good, very good. The night air is cold. It's time to rest. You must be tired, Sean. You've worked very hard. You know you've been so kind to me on this journey. I am so indebted to you. No, Baba. You serve me with such care and consideration like a disciple does to his guru. You know I'm very fond of you. In fact, I have a son and he has never been so kind to me as you have. There must be some way I can show you my gratitude. You haven't fallen asleep, have you? No, Baba. Is there anything you need that I can give you? Sleep. I mean, apart from that, I will think of something. I will let you know when I come up with something. Ansa Deho Geho. Krishna, everything I have is yours. My home, my family, I offer it all to you. My family. A home? A family! I got it! I got it! I should have thought of it a long time ago. It's so obvious. You're a bachelor, aren't you? Yes. Not for long. What do you mean? 
I mean, you need a wife, and I have a young daughter, and she's a pretty little thing. And I've been looking for a suitable husband for her for some time now. So I've made up my mind. She's my gift to you. Just like that? Yes, just like that. Why are you just standing there with your mouth open? You've seen my daughter before. Yes, everyone in our town knows your family. Well, is she pretty? Yes, of course, but... Just take my word for it. She's your wife. It's not going to work. Explain yourself, young man. Your family is different from mine. You are well-to-do, educated, and respected. We are poor. I barely know how to read and write. It won't work. Your family won't accept. Young man, I've been watching you. You've got a heart of gold. That is what I want for my daughter. Why she has devotion running through her veins, it would be a perfect match. Oh, she has lots of proposals. None of the offers show compatibility. Mohan is too fat. Rishabh is too lean. And Kulushaker, all this muscle, but it doesn't have a brain. Ganesham is a pundit, but as arrogant as you can get. If anyone raises an objection, I just have this to say. When the caravan moves, the dogs will bark. But the caravan moves on and on and on. Uh, if you can go through with this before we depart from here, can you promise but this time before Gopal? Yes, yes, why not? Gopal is indeed your good fortune. My dear Lord, please witness that I give my daughter Kamla to this shop. Hey! That's my shadow! You are a touch horn, you have touched my shadow! How dare you! Now look what you have done! Leave the armor of someone and get some kill! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Get out of here! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Molly! Molly! What are you doing? Well, Mata, this idiot and untouchable uh, spoil my puja worship and paraphernalia. Well, for someone who is untouchable, you certainly touched him a lot. Mata, Bali, look who's coming. Thank God he returned. I was so worried. You look so fatigued. I'm not fatigued. I'm all right. However, my legs can use some tending to. Allow me, Father. Oh, a massage, my son. That would be a first. How has your temper been lately, my son? Kamala, my daughter, how are you? Fortunately, I've been able to visit so many places in my pilgrimage. But I was particularly amazed by a small temple which houses the deity of Gopal. A mere glance of him gave me a feeling of total peace and tranquility. But I wanted to say I had a good companion with me who was so kind that I promised this young man our daughter in marriage. Oh, who is he? You didn't discuss this with any of us. Well, he's a local Brahmin, a decent young man by the name of Sham. Sham? Sham, the son of Shivalinga? No. Sham, the son of Vikita? No. Well, then who? Who's left? Oh, of course, that's their illiterate fellow, Sham the Slow. Surely it isn't him. <laughs> yes. Is this some kind of joke? Ah! Uh, uh, of course he's joking. I'm afraid not. Oh, oh, Kamala, Kamala, I know he's joking. Are you sure? Father, this is not going to happen. It's improper. It would be a disgrace to the Brahminical order. But he's a Brahmin. In name alone. Also indeed, a Brahmin indeed. Furthermore, I made this promise in front of the deity of Gopal. What? How could you? Have you gotten mad? 
insane, berserk, crazy? If you offer my sister to this debauchee, do you know what our fellow Brahmins will say? We will be the laughing stock. He may not be the highest order of Brahmin, but he is a devotee. Is that not what's important? What's good for Krishna should be good for us. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna can accept all kinds of liberated souls into his world, but we have to deal with this world of karma. And I do not feel that my mother, sister, and I should have to allow illiterate slums into this household. That's right. If you give my daughter to that boy, our families and friends will desert us. You cannot allow this marriage to take place. If you go ahead with your promise, I will poison myself. Come, come, Kamala, your father is crazy. Poverty, poverty, come back. Listen, listen, listen carefully. If anyone asks about this, just tell them, I do not remember. But I made this promise to Sri Gopal. If I do not give this young man to my daughter, my principles of Dharma will be meaningless. Oh, Father. The deity may be a witness, but for Dharma is hundreds of miles away. You don't need to say that you made such a promise. Simply say, I do not remember. I'll take care of the rest. Kamala, Kamala, is it true, the rumors that I've heard? Is your father really marrying you to that boy, Sean? Yes, Sita, it's true. But I'm not worried. How can you say that? Have you even seen this Sean? He doesn't even know how to write. But he's a devotee of Krishna. And anyways, I trust my father's decision. Yeah, but just being devotee isn't enough. You have to be practical. Who is going to give you your lifestyle you're accustomed to? Your pretty bracelets, your necklaces, your fancy clothes. You know me, Sita. That's not important to me. Sham, he has Krishna. He's a true devotee. Yes, I trust my father's decision. What, your father? Don't speak of him. Promising your hand in marriage without consulting me? He has no intelligence. Get up, get up, let's go. Get the pot. Why are you idling? Oh, 
Sham Sham, I, I don't think you should be here at the present moment. Th this is not a suspicious time. Father? Is someone here? Who are you talking to? Go, go, come later. Father? Oh, oh, nice. We have an unexpected guest. Hmm, Sham, isn't it? I've heard so much about you. Um, I understand you are a walker, maybe a talker too. You talked to my father something about marrying my sister, something like that. Yeah, I understand. Um, father, can I just use this? No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, Sean, let me show you something here. This stick was carved by the best craftsmen in town. You see, in our household, we always go for the best. Sometimes we use this stick to shoo away stray dogs. So you, you want to marry my sister? So does a dwarf want to catch the moon? Hiya! I'll kill you! Get out of here! I'll kill you! Get out of here! I'll kill you! Stop! Stop it! Stop, I tell you! Hey, hey, what's the problem? The problem is this man is a Brahmin. He promised something and will not follow. Why did you do that? Um, well, friend. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain everything. While on pilgrimage to the north, my father carried some coins. In innocence, he placed love and trust in this so-called traveling companion. Tempted by my father's wealth, the scoundrel cunningly gave him the intoxicating herb Dutura. Under this spell, my father had been swindled of all he carried. So that is one point. Now the same person makes a claim to a marriage with my sister, a supposed promise by my father. But I tell you now, ladies and gentlemen, it's lies, all lies. You decide. Lies it is. Oh, he speaks. Yes, I've been honing back. Today, Mother Earth is weeping. She could be hurt by many offenses, but one thing that burdens her very much is the lives of mankind. I gave this man no drug. In fact, Baba was very satisfied by my service. He told me I promised to hand over my daughter to you. I said it won't happen without family participation. He insisted. I love this man. I know he's going through incredible pressure. I believe in Gopal. In fact, Gopal will agree to bear witness to this. Yes, yes, Gopal is a very powerful deity. And if Gopal agrees to bear witness, I shall certainly give my daughter to this young brown. Oh, oh, yes, yes, this is a fine settlement. A stone statue will walk hundreds of miles to give testimony. Ha, 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 ha. Gopal does have a life of his own. Father, do you really believe this stuff? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Please, this time, can you make the oath on paper? Oh, he walks, he talks, he writes. Write the text then. Oh, I'll write it. You take this, I'll need your back. I hereby give oath that I will give my daughter Kamla to this Shama Sundar of the town of Vidyanagar on the condition that the deity of Gopal acts as a witness. Sign Dharma Das. Friends, I will call on Gopal to help. I will need your blessings. Yes, yes, blessings, blessings. You seem to have handled it. I've got to get back to work. Blessings, blessings. Father, you know he's actually serious. He's convinced that this deity... Oh, shut up! I'm getting so sick and tired of you, you nonsense. When will you grow up? Father, you're being terribly harsh with me.
My dear Gopal, you are the protector of the Brahmins. Please, please help. I, I can't express very well. You understand what's going on. I just know in my heart. Somehow, I believe you have some power to fix problems. Just this once, can you act as witness? My dear Brahmana, go to your village. Call the people. Meditate on me. I will appear in my Vishnu form. Yes but it will have greater impact if you come in person. Speak to them directly. Hmm, complications. But I've never heard of a deity walking from one place to another. I haven't either, but if a deity can talk, I'm sure he can walk. Shh, 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 Very bad, very bad, chip, 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 chop. So you were saying that if a deity can talk, he should be able to walk? I guess you have a point there. Here's what we'll do. I shall walk behind and follow you. Don't look back. I get hungry from time to time. Cook a batch of rice for me each day. But remember, don't look back. If you do, I shall remain stationary in that very place. You will know that I am there by the sound of my ankle bells.
gum. Gopal has arrived. Gopal, Gopal, oh, Gopal. Poverty, poverty, come quick. What, what, what happened? Oh, Gopal, Gopal. Come on, come on, come, come quick. Kishore, who played the beggar boy and the dog. Um, stay right here. Reggie Kishore, Nita Pran, please stay right here. Then I would like to introduce Adrian, who played, who played, um, not Adrian, yes, Adrian who played the Pujari and the Sweeper. Chakra. Chakra, please come out. He was our Sabji man. The Pujari was played by Giri and Adrian. The young girls that gave gifts were played by Olivia and Sadie Bell. Please take a bow. Um, next was the daughter's friend, Sita, played by Varshana. And then the Brahmana's daughter, Kamala, played by Selena. Then we had the the uh, Brahmana's wife, Parvati, played by Induleka. <laughs> Next, we had the young Brahmana's son, the, sorry, the old Brahmana's son, played by Andrew Ram. <laughs> Next, we had the young Brahmana, played by Kalia. And of course, our old Brahmana, Dharma, played by Madan Gopal. And last of all, our most important character, Sakshi Gopal, played by Sakshi Gopal Das. And of course, our Dakoit is hiding. Let's find our Dakoit and bring him out, played by Nishringa. I would like to thank all of the parents who helped with the costumes and the props. Specifically, I would like to thank Bhakti and Alex, Radhakund, and the boys, Narayan and Gopal, for doing the curtains. I would like to thank my husband, Rupa Madhuriya Prabhu, and TK for doing sound and lighting. And I specifically would like to thank Maharaj for attending this program. Last time you were here, you had given a lecture saying, talking about Bhakti Mark Swami's classes, I mean dramas, and you had requested that the next time you come to Dallas, there be a drama. So the children have performed this presentation for you. Please accept it as an offering. Thank you. Okay, everybody take a bow. One more time, let's thank the students here. 